Go ahead. Hey kids, do you ever want to drive a car that looks like this, or this, or this, or this, or maybe even this? Well, the truth is, probably about 95 or 96 percent of this room can't because you don't know how to drive stick shift. Therefore, you can never properly drive any of those cars you just saw. But wait a second. We want you to go from manual transmission to manual be tripping when you learn manual transmission. TM. Very important. Okay, but wait, why go manual in the first place? Well, you're learning to be a better driver. You're not limited to what car you have to drive. One day you might need the, sk the skill. Once you learn it, you never forget. You have more sense of control over your car, and you will never have to say the words, I don't know how to drive manual ever again. That last one is most important right there. So, this is how a car works whenever you have a manual transmission. But more importantly, all that's the clutch plate. That's what you're moving. But we'll get to that more detail right here with your clutch pedal. Now, that's your accelerator right there. And that one that's black, you can't see because there's another chrome on it. But that is your clutch pedal on every single clutch car. And that, you are going to be constantly moving up and down. You want to treat that one like your first girlfriend. You don't want to move it too fast, you don't want to move it too slow. So, and you, so, and then whenever your rev meter comes in. Now this monitors like your RPM rotations per minute. So, whenever you're starting, you want to, you know, you put your car into first gear, and then you give it a little bit of gas, and then you slowly raise that clutch pedal. So you're a lot of times doing this with both the pedals. And that's what a, a clutch looks like inside the car. Those little teeth right there, they grip the the end the other the transmission which makes which then makes everything else work. But you want to make sure that you have experience driving a manual transmission. Because if you don't know how to give it like drive one you might stall your car, which will be very embarrassing. Or, if you keep your car in first gear or second gear for too long, you can do severe damage to your vehicle and even cause some hot, like, high cost um, maintenance. And there's uh, an example of what, what it could look like. Now, pills and traffic are not going to be your friends. See, just like the bicyclist in this photo, you will struggle on a hill. If you have to stop, then you start, you'll have to make the car build up the revs a lot more. And also, on traffic, you're going to be constantly moving your left foot up and down, moving the clutch. It will, it will actually start to get a bit painful after a bit, but that's a pain. But if you're on a nice road with not a lot of traffic and has a lot of curves and uh, turns on it, that can be a lot of fun. And of course, if you're blasting some Daft Punk, that will make it even better. So now look out. There's always going to be some D-bag whenever you're talking to a bunch of people about cars, talking about how easy driving is. Or you're like, yeah man, driving's so easy, man, yeah, no problem. But, you got to make sure that they're driving manual, because there's a lot more respect in drivers if they know how to drive manual. So, and plus, many great people over the years know how to drive manual, including Cabelli's own David Heroy, right there, he's a manual driver. So, um, that's it, and I hope all of you want to drive manual now. Thank you.